It is custom stairs and that goes with the tiny. And like I said before, lots of windows for lots of natural light. And they are insulated windows. And the entrance it is built in blinds into the door frame with the glass. And outside patio lights. Again, new tires. They have only been on the road once. This is the vent from the oven. That vent up there is the vent for the shower. This vent is for the washer dryer combo. And this is for the Furion hot water on demand. There's a lot of windows that let in a lot of natural sunlight. That white tubing is where the air conditioning would drain from the mini split. The tires are new. It was built, it was finished being built August 2022 and delivered onto this ranch and that is the only time it was on the road. Because we get pretty harsh winters out here, the winters that I was here I tarped underneath and because of how well it's insulated I didn't have any issues with anything freezing. And also what is nice is none of the water pipes run under. They are actually in the walls embedded in the insulation. That is where the water hooks up and the electric. Currently, I still have my winter hose hooked up, but I also have just a clean water hose that comes with the tiny. The winter hose comes with it as well. That excess tape is just from me having it insulated this winter. And this is where the septic runs and all water from the tiny comes out of here. So from the kitchen, the washer, the toilet, and it just goes right into any RV septic. This electric I have is hooked up to 50 amps. I do have a converter for 30 amps that will 
go with the tiny. I also have a power surge connector and that will go with the tiny as well. This is the front of the tiny house on wheels. The jacks are underneath to level and the trailer measured from the back is 32 feet. On the left, there is under that wood is where the propane goes. And then that unit is for the mini split. And the mini split is air conditioning and heating. Here is where all the electrical would hook up for transportation so that all the lights work. And three propane tanks come with the tiny. Each loft does have a window air conditioner only because we are on a desert prairie and the tiny gets sunlight, direct sunlight, all day long. Coming in from outside, you go right into the dining area. There is the den. And here is the ladder or the loft above the den. I did install grab handles to make this loft a lot safer. I used this shelf as a bookshelf. And I had my shelves for my plants. The dining area, I had a table that went right where the window is and I had four stools, one on each end and two in the front that stored under the table that gave it plenty of room for my two daughters and I and plus if they had a friend stay the night. This room and the lofts, I did platform beds and I used roller bins underneath. I had a twin extra long that I kept on this side. And again, it is RBIA. RBIC certified, so they do have all the safety features that RBs must have. And I love the windows. It was always so much natural light. And the one thing extra that I really love is that all of the walls and the ceiling by the refrigerator, this is shiplap and it's two inches and it makes it very easy to hang anything right into the wood. Each door for the den 
and for the bathroom, they are pocket doors. And so it's nice. They each have a lock. So you can have the privacy for the den or have it as a bedroom, which I had. do have a five foot step ladder it fits perfect there and that's what I use to be able to reach the mini split filters and anything I need to do on the outside of my home and the fire extinguisher on the wall there for the dining room, I do have a nice stainless steel that I put, it's a sous vide robot. And you can just look that up to see what it all does, but that will stay with the tiny. And I bought that so that I didn't have to use propane all the time to cook in the stove. And if you're in an area that has excessive heat, it cuts down on any extra heat that you're putting into the house. And it is 13 and a half feet ceilings and there is the mini split all the blinds in here and the whole tiny are custom to fit and they are energy efficient extra storage can go on top of these cabinets a view of the dining room from the other end which is the bathroom these are custom cabinets for storage and drawers in the kitchen I did have an upgrade for the dishwasher And it works really well. In the backsplash, I got the peel and stick kind just to make it more simpler if I did sell the tiny where someone can just put in what they enjoy easily. And the windows are insulated. And the cabinet space is great. I did end up using kind of either double or tri-level compartments in here just to separate all of the stuff that I had and to make things fit better. I also utilized storage bins on top of my fridge for extra kitchen utensils and this is a five cubic feet 
refrigerator and I honestly didn't have any issues. It's plenty big. Like I said, it's for, we lived here two years, my two teenage daughters and myself. And I always had enough food. It wasn't where I needed to go to the grocery store a bunch. It's nice that all the appliances are the same brand. It's Furion. Everything works really well. I never noticed any difference besides this microwave. It's slightly smaller. It kind of reminds me of like an apartment microwave. And again, that is the peel and stick backsplash. Here is the oven. And this oven is adorable where you can have it light up. And also this is nice to have it covered. You don't want to put weight on it, but it's nice to cover it up just to make it look nice and neat and clean. And the stove, again, it's with the propane. And I made lots of baked goods. The evenness of the oven was impressive. And I had a drawer built underneath for extra storage. And there's a little cubby under here that I stored like if we had a bunch of sparkling water or anything with drinks that did not fit into the fridge. I had this pantry door custom built. I don't use it as a pantry. I actually use it for all of my cleaning tools. I have a Swifter mop the vacuum, any extras. And I had shelves in here when we were living in here and also had some shelves that hooked on the wall. And there's actually a lot of space. It's built under the steps. And next to the pantry door, is the carbon monoxide detector and propane detector. And also the breaker box. Everything is in good order. It's labeled nice. And I haven't had any issues with the electrical. And all the appliances that need monthly maintenance, I made sure that everything was maintained, such as the washer dryer combo. It needs a cleaning cycle every 30 washes or once a month, depending on how much laundry you do and the mini split there is a filter when you lift that lid and that filter needs cleaned and to let dry and I do have an oscillating fan installed that will stay with the tiny. It helps with circulating the air conditioning and the heat. And just to keep things moving around, if you are in an area where you get condensation, 
I didn't have a lot of issues here because it's so dry, even in the winter. The bathroom under the washer and dryer is the hot water on demand. It does have, it's a touch screen. I didn't even take the plastic off. Um, it's still pretty new. And I used this space for all of my toilet paper and all of my paper towels. And behind here is how you get to the hot water on demand. I'll open this up so you can kind of see. Everything is really right there. bathroom sink is cute and has a lot of storage underneath. I also ended up putting some shelves in there that I bought off of Amazon just so that I could organize all of the bathroom extras. And with the washer dryer combo, it is actually an extra capacity. And up here is where I stored extra things like my laundry detergent. I had some baskets up there um, to put clothes in if I didn't have time to fold. And I had shelves up here for extras. And I do have a normal size toilet. I did have the option to do like an RV toilet, but I wanted it to be as much like a home as possible and to not really resemble an RV inside. It's a pretty good size medicine cabinet. And the shower is very nice. I had a shower curtain that I put up high and it kind of rounded outward, even though there's plenty of space. It doesn't feel like a small shower at all. It's actually very roomy. And it's nice that it has the two seating. I did put this for extra storage and had the removable and installed that just to keep things off of surfaces. Here is a view of the shiplap ceiling by the kitchen. I custom had these steps extended so that it would be smoother to walk up them and not steep. Each of the lobs have black outlines and the pine flooring. And each loft has a built in TV that pulls out. And there 
there's a remote to it. And we had a lot of shelves in this one. This is my 16 year old's side that she enjoyed. And like I said before, I did have platform beds. And so her bed, I had pushed up against that side. And first she had a full and then she switched it out for a twin only because the twin gave her more sitting space it did not cover her air conditioning. And so she had all of this for a rug. And it was really pretty. And this is the view from her steps. And the view over to the other loft. The other loft I had custom ladder where it is built into the wall. And just lift and it slides out. are the blinds to the door. They are really nice. Going up to the loft that is above the den, I did install these handles and it makes it so much easier and safer just an extra precaution. And this room has a smart TV as well. And the blackout blinds, the window air conditioning. And I had her platform bed set up over there and it came out to that where it did not cover the air conditioning and each of them had roller bins to put all of their clothes and anything extra the view from her ladder to the dining, kitchen, 